welcome back to another TS Terra Plays Terra video. Alright, so in today's video, we are going to go over Terra Console's 113.01 build update. Now, I did briefly look through these, and there's quite a few things to talk about with this patch that will be coming out on the 25th. So, the first thing I am actually glad that they're adding this in a way is new and more ace dungeons. So for those players that aren't sure what ace dungeons are because it's been a while since we've kind of seen them, they've kind of been useful, is they are a set of dungeons that solo players can go into and receive decent to good rewards. So to start off with, they have four being put in. I don't know if Akasha's Trial is currently actually still open, but within that they are bringing Kratos Trial, Lilith's Trial, and Lumica's Trial. The limit is two times entry, and I believe even if you have Elite, it's still two times, but they might change that. They don't say that in the notes, so we'll see that in the future if it changes. I do like to see that these are scaling at a pretty decent rate to catch people up towards more end game. I think this is really smart. I like this idea that for people who maybe don't have a full group, they can run content. And this is something that I was almost suggesting they do, I wanna say about a year ago. So I'm disappointed it's taken this long, but I'm happy it's happening. And these are all really decent dungeons. They're fun. Uh, Akasha's Trial is probably the most annoying in my opinion. Kratok's Trial, for anyone who is unfamiliar with the name, that dungeon is literally just Abseths with a different name. That's all it is. So anyone who's ran Abseths, you know the dungeon. It's very simple, very easy. Lilith's Trial is going to be pretty much just Lilith, just the last boss of Lilith's Keep. Usually this fight is kind of fun when you're by yourself don't worry if you're not a healer like you don't have to worry about any of crazy checks like that it should be easy enough and then lumica's trial is going to be probably a one-on-one -on -one fight with lumica which could actually be really fun so anyone who wants to know how to enter you just go to the ace dungeon instructor and you go in as followed and you'll get rewards the reward path can be attained through the dungeon and we'll go over that as followed. Once you defeat the monster or boss, whatever, in the dungeon, you will get drops. These can be things that are usually like plates, derricks, gems, mats, all good stuff that players hopefully need. Again, I hope that's the mats. They didn't really cover it. I hope it's not things like shitty bravery potions or HP pots. But it could be, but ideally you will get rewarded for killing. You also will receive a vanguard request. So within that, you'll this is another way for solo players to make gold. They are stating that the Kratox trial vanguard request will currently not be open. So I'm assuming you can go in and run it and that vanguard is just not going to be accessible until a future date. And then of course there is the ace metal shop so another thing with the trials is you have to typically select like either speed uh combo the amount of times you hit an enemy or don't get hit x amount of times and you have to select two of these you can also make it, it select random and the better you do in the dungeon the higher tier you get which means more metals you get that you can exchange for these lovely items being gold and silver derricks gold and silver plates health potions uncommon noctinium elixirs emeralds diamonds and smart dyads so and as you can see here are the points off to the side so if you're really really good maybe you'll get like 30 points 30 medals per run and every time you do it you can get an uncommon noctinium elixir and if you're hurting on those or if you want health pots maybe it's an extra way for you to stack up your plates there's all sorts of goodies and even the diamond after probably once people get comfortable and anyone who is running all four daily probably pumping out hundreds of metals i mean if you get 100 metal per run that's eight runs you almost have a diamond a day so 
overall it's really not bad and the metal i'm glad they updated the metal shop instead of it having like wood scraps and yeah nothing useful this is actually decent items i feel okay the car collection so i'm worried about this i've read a bit about it on the guide you can go over and read it. I am not going to cover this until it's actually implemented in the game in heavy details. I do remember everyone on PC hating this so much. From what I've read, it seems like ours is not as bad, but they don't give enough detail in the guide for me to fully understand how many cards you can have active. Can you have them all active? What's going on? Because this is going to be something that may really give us a lot more power. They also give cooldown, crit. Uh, a lot of them when I looked was stigma weakness detecting and stigma defense. So I'm kind of glad to see that we're adding more stigma related stuff through other means. But I think the cooldown needs to stop and I'll be curious to see how this card collection works due to if we can have all the cards added this is going to be a heavy grind if you can only have one of each card or like one type of each card because there is multiple types then it might not be as bad i just it's a lot of information at once without having it in the game but to give a basic rundown you'll collect these cards by completing stuff in the game whether it be vanguard missions dungeons etc 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 you get the cards you equip the cards you then enchant the cards i believe it's you destroy other cards and get xp so cards are bringing back xp and i'm hoping it's always guaranteed enchants would be amazing but there's a lot of different cards that cover all sorts of things and there's even like quality of life cards that it's kind of cool that they're adding i think they should have had that earlier but there are cards that you can even collect that for people who like to fish and gather and again there's cards for crit power cooldown crit power all sorts of stuff that again i will go into much more detail when it's in the game and i can kind of get an idea i will make my own guide for it and of course i'll tag the guide when i make mine i'll tag the you know terra console guide in it and kind of go over as much detail as i can but i do like that we're getting this system i think it's a cool thing to add i'm not completely happy with everything they're putting into it and i hope this isn't a pay to win bullshit system like the other stuff has been because this could actually be a really fun, nice, casual, fun grind system. And we just have to wait and see how much it is or isn't. Hopefully it's not pay to win, but we'll get into that. So pets, they've added a five second cooldown to pet summoning. So in other words, when you summon a pet, it will take five seconds before you can, I guess, unsummon and resummon. While summoning a pet, you will no longer be able to summon another pet right away. So this is to stop, I believe, the issue, because they said they fixed it and they didn't, and I'll talk about that in Tuesday's State of Terror console. But basically, they're trying to prevent people from having multiple transcendents going off at once. So now you can't just you know keep swapping pets you have to actually play even more strategically because they seem to not be able to change it even though they said they fixed it i don't know but basically when you summon a pet you can't summon another pet right away you have to wait five seconds so you know is what it is i'm expecting that to probably be increased eventually even more but that's the changes with pets the last little bit we have in this patch note is just some etc improvements and bug fixes. So the Stormcry belt has been finally added to the Vanguard Initiative Quartermaster. Thank god it's only taken them like, I don't know, 10 years? Sorry, sarcasm. Um, 
No, this should have been added a long time ago, and I'm glad that they're finally doing it, but... Hmm. For the story quest, these aren't the weapons we're looking for. It has been modified so that the quest item can be received again during the quest. I believe this one's always being changed, but hopefully this time they fixed it. Who knows? Overall bug fixes, the issue where Warrior's new abnormal quit. Abnormal condition poison blade abnormal condition is removed by the traverse cuts Condition will be fixed. So I guess there was an issue that poison blade was getting overrided by traverse cuts It's meant to both run together the devs keep going back and forth with this. It seems like They either they keep making the mistake or I don't really understand what the issue is, but they uh, clearly warriors just I don't know, they have issues with the class. I, 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 eventually it'll be fixed, right? Maybe. There's an issue with the Lumica pet skill icon not being displayed. They're fixing that. The issue with the Battle Pass Season 11 reward icon not being displayed should also be fixed. And the issue of not being able to enter the quest area when leaving during Stepstone Isle area story quest will be fixed. So. That is the patch notes. Again, very short, very sweet. Not too much is being added. I would like to see, hopefully, in February, a new dungeon. Maybe we get Timescape. Maybe we get Dracon's Arena. Would be really nice. Um, hopefully, they bring over PC dungeons at a bit faster rate. I think RK9 was a bit disappointment, personally. We've had that dungeon so much, and uh, no one likes it. Or a very small population likes it, and from everything it, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go over that Tuesday. Um, but this is the patch notes. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Please look forward to the pet guide. If you want to have more information, you can go to their website under the guides where they have like Saru's guide and where the pet guide was originally. There will also be the card guide. So if you're looking. And you want to get a jump start on reading it go ahead uh, i've been reading it through trying to make my mind around it and understand it more and more as i read it it is very complex and it could be cool it could also be a big flop so we'll see and hopefully they make it good because they can't afford any more flops so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. As always, I will try to do my best to get back to them as soon as I can. If you like this content and you want to see more terror content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 500 subscribers. I'm so happy. And I can't thank you all enough. That's such an amazing milestone that once we hit it, I will make a updated war tank guide. That's something I agreed upon a long time ago that I do still want to do. I don't tank as much as I used to, but it's something that I will be willing to do and really just want to do. So again, that is everything. I hope you all have a fantastic day and or night. And within that, I hope to see you in Aboria gamers.